so I just got back from doing a return at Louis, and I'm just gonna head across the street to Bergdorf's and see what's going on. Bergdorf Goodman is a luxury department store located on the iconic Fifth Avenue, and it's one of my favorite places to shop here in New York City. I came here to check out two specific bags, but the amazing bags at Celine stopped me in my tracks. Here's the Celine Conti, which was introduced in the summer 2023 runway show. It's a very nice leather tote that features a functional belt to tighten the bag. Prada has similar totes called buckle bags. The belts on those, however, are detachable so you can actually wear them if they fit you. Here's my favorite Celine bag at the moment. It's the small Cabo drawstring Queer Triumph. It's made with buttery soft leather and it can hold quite a bit despite its small size. And I like that it comes with a removable and adjustable crossbody strap. I headed to Lueve to see the bag that I actually came to see. This is the Lueve Squeeze bag. This is the small size, but as you can see, it's not a tiny bag at all. Apparently, it's hard for them to keep it in stock in store in the black and oak colors. So I tried on this one in the new color for the spring and summer called Spring Jade. It's a very light mint green kind of shade. Then I went to try on the medium Bottega Veneta Andiamo bag. They also didn't have it in black, so I tried this in a buttery cream color. It can be worn as a top handle, shoulder bag, and crossbody bag. The interior is very roomy and features two compartments separated by a folder-sized piece of leather. I love that everything moves so you can adjust the straps and compartment sizes. I also wanted to show it to you in a small size. I love this version in green and white leather. It reminds me of Ecuadorian Menta Glacial. Moving on to shoes, here are the Versace Medusa Ribbon Silk Cage Sandals. They are strappy silk sandals with golden Medusa hardware and a ribbon bow accent. I really like the vintage style Medusas that are really popular right now. On the table, you'll see the Versace Medusa Silk Ankle Strap Wedge Espadrilles. It's a classic style and perfect for the spring and summer. It features the Medusa 95 hardware and comes in a beautiful champagne color. You can also see the Versace Medusa Metallic Ankle Strap Sandals. These feature golden Medusa hardware, a small platform, and stiletto heels. These would be perfect for an evening summer event. This is the Christian Louboutin Cadrilla Patent Block Heel Pump. I like that the toe box is roomy and the heel is not an exaggerated height. For Christian Louboutin shoes, these look pretty comfortable. Moving on to one of my favorites, the Chanel sneakers. I love these colors out for spring and summer. This is such a pretty minty greenish blue. We have the pink version and then check out this metallic silver. And check out this boucle sneaker. I love adding texture to a look so these are great. I love the gold eyelet grommets and the gold CC Dubray. White sneakers are really in this spring and summer, so if you're looking for a pair, these might be it. These are by far some of the most comfortable designer sneakers out there. I might even say they're the most comfortable that I've tried. You guys know that I have the white pair, but I'm seriously considering buying it in the black. Although it looks a little too orthopedic for me, I don't know. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. I'm really thinking about it because they are just so comfortable, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I also really like this version, which comes with blue tweed. I like the blue because you can wear them with jeans and a lot of different looks. It's a great neutral color, but still a pop, at least in my wardrobe anyway. So I really like this pair. And these sneakers on the right are also a classic for Chanel. I have the black version, but check out these colors. This is a really pretty pink, a green version, a gray version, and check out this beautiful powder blue.
This isn't the most practical Chanel footwear, but I had to include these in this video. Check out these incredible Chanel roller skates. I had a pair of black patent leather Mary Janes just like these that I was obsessed with, but the heel was higher. They went really well with a lot of my pinup looks that I used to wear. These though, because of the heel height, it's giving little girl. I don't know, that's what it's giving to me. What do you guys think? And finally, the Chanel dad sandals. I know, I know, they're supposed to be out of fashion, not trending anymore. However, I will speak up for all of my fellow girlies who have all kinds of problems with their feet. And these are the only kinds of sandals that we are allowed to wear. My podiatrist specifically told me that I'm only allowed to wear Birkenstock sandals or Birkenstock style sandals. And that is what these are. These now come in two versions, the one with the strap at the back of the ankle and then one without. I think I like the look of the ones that are just slides that you don't have the strap around the back. They just seem nicer to me, but at the end of the day, they're pretty much the same sandals. They also have this version, which I don't know, I'm just not into. It just looks a little too puffy, a little too big. Granted, the ugly dad sandals are also quite big, but I feel like they're trying to make it pretty and it's just not working. You, you know what I mean? Let me know in the comment section what you think. And no, you're not mistaken. I am skipping over these because they are basically huaraches and I'm just not gonna spend over a thousand dollars on Chanel huaraches. And that's it for today's shopping vlog. Thanks so much for coming along with me.